cool. This again for me is interesting because for Brendan, it does demonstrate probably part of his issues with people online is that for some reason he doesn't understand why um he doesn't understand why he's not liked you know he doesn't get it in the slightest and i personally think that's part of the issue because i think there are people online who aren't well liked but they have an understanding of why they're not well liked but they, but they don't care right or they lean into it a little bit i think that's one of the first steps of kind of using your unlikability or your divisiveness yeah like ability or you know traits to your advantage is to kind of get why people don't like you but then also lean into it i think that's really important for brendan he's never done that he's always kind of you know acted as if like he's a you know beast of a dad beast of a guy i'm a great guy i'm a great guy great guy great guy great guy obviously not so in this clip this is super interesting because in this clip he definitely does show you he has no understanding no comprehension of why nobody might like not like him and i think this is one of the main reasons why he's in the position that he's in that lack of kind of understanding of it in any way shape or form is really bizarre the lack of self-awareness is fucking shocking so let's play this clip right Brady martin asks brendan on the show why do you think people don't like you basically why do people give you a hard time and brendan's response is fucking baffling really to be completely honest absolutely baffling i'm going to play the clip for you now you get an idea what i mean you look just massive in mma man yeah. like, Jeez, wipe do it um, i was just reading chat and and they said you look more jacked than recently have you been doing something Ooh. different it's in the waist baby i had a whopper with my brother <laughs> okay. is that, is that making, have you been training We're more Heimers. have you been doing like <laughs> have you been training more nah just living yeah. bro hey he's getting back I into it i swim a yeah. lot i ride my bike more than anything Look yeah well they, they say you look more jacked so. i'll take it dude yeah, thanks that's, that's thanks fucking, fellas yeah they're good they're nice in the chat are like, they because usually they're like, chat? he's jacked but gay yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like, they're, like yeah. they're not nice to me dude please quit yeah don't tell me no, anymore. I, no no i won't I, yeah i just it's he's funny. lying every comment no, 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 like, he's like no dude you. they yeah. like you yeah they love it's, you dude no they've <laughs> gotten seven death threats <laughs> why do you think people like to talk shit about you yeah, about me Ooh. yeah uh okay. i do i do a lot of shows um a lot of the audience was introduced for me on the ultimate fighter where i was a cocky fighter which you got to be when you fight Fair. so they never they for them it's tough if you're put in a box it's tough for them to separate that so if they've been following me since the ultimate fighter ufc days when yeah i thought i was going to win every fight and knock everybody out that's how you got to be as a fighter yeah so oh he's arrogant no i'm not it was a job and then you transition where most fighters stop you know once they stop fighting they you know they go on to open a gym or do it and there's nothing wrong with that I went to something completely different. Started going comedy podcast. Yeah. Now you're gonna stand up. It's just it's just not natural. So it's it's it, and I do a lot of content for people to hate on. Yeah. And I give and I have a lot of opinions. That's why I have a successful podcast. Exactly. I have a lot of opinions. So <laughs> a lot like of people a lot of people fuck with it. A lot of people don't. But either way, you're talking about it. Yeah. So clearly for me, <clears throat> I think this is delusion beyond belief, because if I'm not mistaken, the majority of the goodwill Brendan got when he first started to fight the kid was because of his personality on fighting the kid. Like people forgot about the UFC ultimate fighter thing really quickly. He's acting as if like this persona and this personality had in the UFC has carried over all the way through. That's not true at all because the fighting the kid subreddit is a good example of it. That place started off as a fan, you know, spot for people to basically talk about how much they love the fucking podcast, myself included. Over time, the problem with him is that his actual personality away from the UFC, just being a regular human and doing what he does, is what turned people off. The lying, the cheating, the stealing, the fucking, you know, the ego, the lack of, you know, the thin skinness and all this other stuff, the issues with other comedians, the stories, whatever. All that shit is definitely what people don't like about him. But for some reason, he has no understanding of it whatsoever. And the end bit that he says about having loads of opinions, that's why people don't like him. I actually would like it if Brendan did have more opinions. He actually doesn't say anything. He actually doesn't have opinions or anything because he's kind of like caught in this weird place where he does this weird kind of like flirtation with the right. It feels like sometimes he kind of wants to be a little bit of a right wing blowhard, a little bit of a, you know, um, 
contrarian in some things but he's obviously too redacted to actually form a coherent opinion he has to stand behind and he's also a bit scared of getting actually cancelled so he does these kind of like flirtatious kind of little things to kind of dip his toes in right like recently he's been blurting out try that in my town try that in my town right after that fucking country song that everybody's getting their knickers over and twist with and he's kind of just saying that the way he used to say trump 2020 right he's not really saying anything so i would actually prefer if brendan did say things but he doesn't say anything because he just doesn't have you know the probably the mental capacity to do so so he's caught in this weird place where he's trying to put himself as a i'm cancelled i'm getting shadow banned guy but you don't say anything interesting you don't say anything controversial at all so how can you get cancelled for just you know making shitty jokes on a podcast it makes no sense but i find that lack of understanding of why people don't like you to be one of the most you know unfortunate things about brendan's sort of demise over the years that's kind of what kind of fucked him over that lack of understanding that hey some of us are laughing at you we're not laughing with you but use that to your advantage he for some reason fundamentally cannot understand why anybody would laugh at him I mean, he doesn't get it at all. Zero. It doesn't make sense. Only recently he started to accept that some people might not think he's funny. For the most part, he actually did think he was actually funny. So his delusion is like on another level. Like, and also, you know, the lack of understanding of like some people out there could just not like him because they feel like he's been given his career on a fucking silver platter by Joe Rogan. He doesn't think that's an issue either. Like all these little tiny things are strange. And even just the the flipping, what you call it? Um the aligning yourself with the Chris Leas and the Brian Cannons after the allegations. Like there's so many things that he's done over the years that people could say, Hey, I don't like you for that. But in his head, it doesn't comprehend. It has to be because he used to be in the UFC and he was cocky. And also that is a fake as well, because there's plenty of fighters in the UFC who are not cocky. I'm just thinking about it in my head straight away. Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje aren't really cocky fighters and they got fire further in their career. He's got this idea in his head that everybody has to play a heel. Everybody has to be this WWE character to kind of get forward in life. And maybe the actual reality of it is that he's w not willing to accept that when he was in the UFC, that was actually part of his personality. Maybe he was acting cocky, but that was actually who he actually was. And he's trying to shed away from it by pretending that it was all a prank. It was all a persona sort of thing. But it's a really strange thing to kind of put your hat on to say that people only don't like you because of your UFC thing. When the UFC thing has, has been many, many years past and you've done many things since then that people could say they don't like you for. But that delusion, unfortunately, um, in the reality of things, being that delusional for Brendan is what's also helped him to become successful. You know, like he's so delusional, he doesn't get why people don't like him. But that's also part of the reason why he's still successful despite being terrible at everything that he does for the most part, right? From hosting to doing podcasts to being a good guest to being a good listener, big convers a good, good conversationalist, a good interviewer, like all the stuff he does terribly. But he's also, you know, kind of what's that thing called? Persevered because of that delusion he just keeps on getting up like doesn't matter how many documentaries come out about him how much you know his specials get rated as a fucking minus zero or whatever maybe he just keeps on keeping on he just goes so that's part of actually his kind of actual success going forward so it's a bit of a two-sided coin but hey what can you do what are you are saying in the chat about me um he's probably gonna try to say the same shit as skank fest yeah he can't if if he does say that skank face it's gonna be insane he shouldn't say that skank face honestly hope he doesn't because you know somebody could easily say in a crowd hey like and I, I don't like you because you tried to fucking walk annie lead them into a truck or i don't like you because you tried to fuck bobby lee's girlfriend at the time like those are already things that people could not like him for let alone the fucking story about throwing the guy through the fucking glass window and then not being willing to accept that maybe you were the douche in that fucking scenario you know what i mean all these things are things that people could not like and also think about it i'll play it later on but i think the covid thing honestly i think the covid thing was a big turn off because i remember for me when i used to check the sub people were really at what well, sorry when i when i was checking the sub a lot back then especially during the lockdown people were so pissed off they were so pissed off at their fucking behavior when it came to covid and lockdown like they were the first comedians to go on tour and to kind of just act like it didn't exist they got covid 17 million times they probably spread it a bunch of times so they could do their shitty shows do you know I mean it really turned people off how they were acting around COVID so that COVID response and how they acted around it could be easily one of the reasons why people could be like you know what we're done with you for life especially if you had people in your family die during the COVID lockdown and here are these guys going to the fucking the ha ha uh, 
you know what I mean, in fucking Arkansas or somewhere to perform to fucking six people behind screens. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? But anyway, um, what can you do? Um, Shub won't make it to Skankfest. Yes, he will. He'll be there. He'll be there. He'll be there, 100%. Shub's going to be there. Brendan Shub should go to Skankfest. 100% should go to Skankfest. If he doesn't go to Skankfest, he's a fucking idiot. He actually needs Skankfest more than they need him. That Skankfest is a free opportunity to kind of rewrite the narrative as Brenda would say it's a free opportunity it's a free hit if he goes there and does a good job he's a good sport he's willing to get laughed at and shit he's gonna have so many fans he's gonna have so much goodwill around him if he just goes there and subjects himself to getting ripped into pieces and whatever it may be he's gonna he's gonna come out of it really well so he'll be Brendan would be stupid if he doesn't go he has to go to Skankfest he must go if he wants to really end the year well and have some good grace goodwill around his name between now and the end of the year he needs to go to skankfest please he needs to go to skankfest i beg of him to go to skankfest he needs to go he must go he must go if he doesn't go it's a real big fucking you know stain on his freaking thing but knowing brendan how much he cancels it won't be surprised if he does end up not going you know what i mean 